Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, September 12th, 2020, and I am on another musky hunt. And once again, I have enlisted the help of my buddy Dave. Uh, he's down there right now, putting the boat in. I'm not gonna tell you my brother caught a musky last week in the furnace. You, you just told me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. Senko. Oh yeah? He's talking to me at the boat and the thing's hanging straight down. Oh yeah? Three feet. Dink. We pulled the thing up and I don't think they knew it was hooked. And all of a sudden it went berserk. Oh yeah? He caught it for, I don't know, five minutes or what have you. <laughs> Got the thing in, I went to grab it and it snapped and line went. Oh jeez. So probably about like a 27, 28 inch or but nonetheless. I take that. Yeah, he was uh He's never caught one either, so... Oh, okay. Right. So there you go. Now, you can just, they counted it as a catch. It was close enough. So. Yeah, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Shoot. Yeah, I'm sunk right into that log. Dang it. There we go, got it. Ah, oh, shoot. I got it. One of the advantages of fishing with 80 pound braid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pull trees down with it. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, I think that one was waiting to poach your yeah, catch. Yeah, yeah, I think you might be right. Me too. Looks like big bass or big musky yeah, could be here. Too. Hopefully both. Yeah, yeah. Hope we double up on giant fish. <sighs> Honestly, I think we're gonna be in for a tough day. Oh yeah. I knew with the cold coming, I was like, eh. Yeah, the cold front's gonna make it tough. Now we got the wind cranking. But, you know, these are the days where you might only catch one, but yeah, it could be, be a lunker. Yeah, yeah, worth it. I'm thinking like a bass fisherman now, running the spinner bait right along these weeds with the wind blowing in. But I have it on good authority that the stuff that works for like bass and pickerel will also work for musky. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta, you just gotta scale up the baits. Most interesting thing I ever heard from a musky guy was they're uh, they're essentially just giant pickerel. Yeah, yeah. You know they're giant stubborn pickerel. So whatever works for those should work for musky as well. Sorry. Oh, you got him! All right. Finally. Finally, we got some action. Oh boy. She's excited now. Nothing back there. Can you believe it? That's always a good spot back in that area. This whole Yeah. Up against those leaves. Yeah, it looks like it should be good. Nothing home today, though. At least nothing that wants what we're throwing. Yeah. Yeah. Fun of us. <laughs> yeah. How many times do you think I've seen that frog, Woody? <laughs> yeah, right. I think Coco's wondering why she's not getting more treats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys suck. Getting a little impatient. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to starve at this rate. 
totally dying, right? Yeah. Because of course you never feed her, right? No, right, yeah, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Holy shit, there's one right there. You see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oof. Look at that. Ooh, look at the length on that thing. That's a nice yeah, one. That's got to be a 30 a incher. Yeah. Of Dang course. it, where were you before? Where were you before? With that motor screaming like that, you'd think that thing would. Wow. There he is. There he is. Oh, you missed him. He tasted it too. <laughs> See if he'll hit mine. Yep. Wow. Nah, I don't think so. But that fish was definitely hungry. So... I don't know, maybe we'll come back later. See if he'll hit again. Ooh, ooh. Stop, 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 stop. I see him, he's right there. I don't know if it's the same one, but he's right there. I just moved him. Where's he going? Where you going? Yeah, he went into the pads. I can't see him anymore. My legs are shaking. Good night. Yeah, I don't know where he is now. Every time I bring this one up, she thinks it's a fish. What are you doing? See that? Look at that. <laughs> I know, right? I know there's catfish in here too. Okay. And I'd imagine your standard assortment of panfish. Bluegill perch crappie, I'm sure. Fish? All right. It's something anyway. First hookup in a while. Oh, easy, Coco. You're going to go in the water. All right. Oh, it might go about a pound or so. Fine. Yeah. There you go. Let him go. Oops, give me my rod. Get it. Treat time. I know. What action is that rod? This is extra, extra heavy. It's rated for 20 to 40 pound line and one to six ounce lures. This is the meat stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The stump puller. Yes. Right, what are you ready? thinking? I'm ready to head back. All right. Yeah, I'm starting to lose my enthusiasm myself. Yeah, I'm sure she's going to have to go to the bathroom or something. Yeah, she seems a little antsy, yeah. so. All right, we'll call it. <sighs> well, there we go. Another musky hunt in the books with no musky landed. But still a pretty exciting day. We did see one. Decent sized fish, maybe low to mid 30s. Um, Dave got him to eat the frog, which was really cool. And uh, Dave got a couple of bass, so uh, we knocked the skunk out of the boat. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, just a day in the life of a muskie fisherman, I guess. 
It's called the fish of 10,000 casts for a reason, and uh, I don't even think I've gotten close to 10,000 casts yet, so I just got to keep putting in my time, and I know that if I do, I will eventually be rewarded with my first ever muskie, and hopefully it's a big one. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure.